no place I'd rather be on a fine spring evening than in the booth with my good friend, Buddy the Rifleman Hall. We're at the finals of the first U.S. Masters. Buddy, what a match we have in store for our viewers. The first competitor is Efren Reyes. Great player, great player. One of the best players you'll ever lay eyes on. Earl Strickland there is our, he's our other competitor. Yeah, down to two players. This is for the title, a race of 13. We're in Chesapeake, Virginia. It's April 29, 2001, in the year of our Lord, and Efren has won the leg. Now, Earl's the only player who has not lost a match. I'll tell you one thing. He could possibly lose one. Efren shot 950-something last match. And this is a repeat of the, of the winner's bracket match. So here we go. Oh, that's close to making one. Well, I think we're going to see Earl bank the one ball into the three ball. Yeah. Don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. Now you like uh, using uh, maybe a just below center ball to touch a left English here? Yeah, just, you... just a touch. It's a touch. There's a nice medium speed. You don't want to blast it or anything. You want to come two rails out of that pocket. The only problem with this shot is you can get hooked behind something if you don't. If you hit the one, I mean the three on the right hand side, it's not going to get behind all that cluster of balls. Right, coming. right. He missed a whole ball. Well, he hit it a little hard, and that shortened it up. Mm-hmm. Well, this isn't so easy, buddy. I don't see a great uh, way to obtain quality position on the two ball. It is uh, the ball. It's about where the five ball spot is a little different. That's the two ball. Mm -hmm. And it goes here, or the combination is workable. But other than that, I don't see much. I don't see an easy way to get there. Well, I'll play. Sure. I, I don't, maybe not uh, the best shot in the world, but it's a shot. You play the one in here. You play this reel and play the cue ball to right here. Okay. And play the combination two three. All right. He hit it. No, he played it different. Well, I don't know what he's doing here. Is he planning to play the billiard, or uh, I think he's going to play the three. All right, but uh, you think he's going to cut it into the three ball? We started with eight, yeah, eight so. players, down to two. He's going to twist this in low right English. Okay, they're off to a shaky start. Well, if I'm Earl, I'm delighted to get this second opportunity. The four ball passes underneath the nine. The five ball seems to be the problem to me, buddy. Uh, it doesn't go in many pockets. No, I don't know if it passes the six there or not. I think he'll play it. No, uh, I think he played play in the side pocket by the seven ball. He's, he's got a good angle to do that. Yeah, he can just float forward here. Like this, little inside angle. Ooh, perfect. He used the whole pocket, didn't he? Yes, he did. Now he can go on the. This is, I like where he's looking here on the seven. He wants to get an angle where he can cut the six to his right a little bit, or he doesn't have to do that. He can draw it back and cut the six to his left. Right mm -hmm. here. That's what he's going. Yeah, perfect. Like, like this. Now he can punch out above the seven ball. Like this. Good shot. Now the seven in the corner, the eight in the side, and he's going to go ahead one game to nothing. I'm surprised at Efren uh, missing that excellent opportunity. Watch it out, man. Look what he done there. Did you see that? Yes. Now, it's been a long week, but I want to talk about this great staff, Pat and Pete Fleming. Julian Robertson, Dean Gupton, they were the cameramen, along with Sean Robertson, his first time here with the AccuStats crew. And we've got Merlin Glodeck. Done a wonderful job. 
I don't even know how they do it. They tote the country, I mean, tote the equipment all around the country. It takes them two days to get set up, and then to tear down is an incredibly difficult job. They're hard-working boys. Oh, Pat put together a pretty good crew. Yeah, sure. And year in and week out, they turn out a quality product. I see there, Earl went to the other side, Green. Well, I mentioned that in the last telecast uh, mm -hmm. about how he preferred this side of the table. He's getting excellent results. Well, look at him contact that one with real solidness, didn't he? Yeah. But he didn't make anything. Oh, boy, he sure moved a lot of them past the side, though, now, didn't he? I'll show you the problem here. As I see it, this 3-7, the 1 to the 2 is not any particular problem. The but 3? I, the 3, I think, passes the 7 up in the corner. Well, that would make it a lot easier. But, it, well, what Buddy's talking about, if it does... To get quality position, he'd have to lay the cue ball right here where he can cut the three to his right to get on the four ball. He's Watch out, he's not snookered. <laughs> he's going to get, uh, he's going to, he'll just go around the nine here. He'll play yeah. two rails around the nine, I believe. Yep, and he'll go right up there and play the three inside. Yeah. Well, he's got to hit it. Yeah, he's a little weak. He sure is. That's a tough shot there. He might not even have He might make that ball. It's hard to gauge the severity of the angle from right. up here in the booth. Well, he's just a little tentative as all. He got off to a bit of a sluggish start, but he needs to get out here. Yeah. Nice shot. Watch out for the eight. Watch out for the four. <laughs> well... I don't know, buddy. What do you think? He's got. You can't bank the four because he can't get on the five ball. Well, if he did bank the four, the only thing he'd have is he'd draw his cue ball back toward the seven. Well, there's a shot I like here. I don't know if he'll shoot it. I'll show you. There's two or three ways. I like thinning it, knocking the four over here, or here, the cue ball here, here, here. Well, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. Well, I don't want to hit it so thin that I put it right in the middle of the 5-8 because I might leave a dead billiard or combination. Right. That's what I thought he might do right there. Okay, that's a great shot. Great shot. Under pressure, that's even more magnificent. This is going to be a good match. And, uh, Earl seems a little tentative. Yeah. Now he can go up and down the table or use inside English. Since he's such a great lover of inside English, that's... Well, he does do that. He loves it all right. Well, that's not an easy shot that he just did. Mm -hmm. Not a thing easy about that. He got on the wrong side of this, didn't he? No, he's all right. Just far enough. He doesn't want to get straight in. This is fine. I was asked to mention, well, you know, uh, what a fondness these two guys have for each other, too. They've been getting along splendidly, so I'll throw that in and we'll have that dispensed with. And this match is going to be knotted up at one game each, momentarily. <laughs> They did play. Now, are they going to mark their score down there, or are we just going to keep it on our monitor? Well, They're they, going to mark it both yeah, places. Yeah, see how good deal. They put it on the monitor. 1-1. One, one. And let's uh, talk about quality tournaments. Don't you have a fine event uh, in its up. inaugural uh, time? It's, it's an inaugural uh, uh, event, yes. It's uh, the Superman Classic in Metropolis, Illinois. 25000 added, $150 entry fee, and I'm getting a tremendous about, amount of response from it. I'm, from all the players and the, the papers and the, the billiard newses and the uh, billiard digest pool and billiard magazine, all of them, I'm getting just a great response from everybody. Well, I'm looking forward to it already. I like the $150 entry fee. That makes it attractive. I want to try to raise the added money next year and have a, a lower entry fee. 
I want to try to get I want to try to get it to where a person can come to that tournament and the the, the amount of stay there cost them around four hundred, three fifty, four hundred. Now, buddy, I see uh, the eight and nine. He needs to get on the end rail if he plans to play the combination. I, I don't believe the eight goes. Now, I don't know about you. I, well, actually, I do know about you. Uh, I kind of prefer to uh, plan right now what I'm going to do with that eight and nine. I'm going to have something in my head what I want to do with it. Well, I'm sure he's going to play. He's going to play position on the seven to come two rails around and play that eight and nine combination. Right. He's going to try to get straight in on the six so he can draw it back just a little for the seven. Of course, that's down the road. Oh, that's a good shot. Yep. Got a nice angle. He wants an angle here to play for it. Be able to play straight in on the six. That's pretty good. He's kind of jumpy. He's kind of jumpy. That's perfect. Okay, he's going to play the angle about just a little left of where he's at right there in order to get two rails around on the 8 9. He'll shoot the 7 in, go two rails, maybe hit the third rail down here about the last diamond. Sure. Being careful not to adopt an angle that might cause him to scratch. Right, exactly. That's perfect. That's where he wanted to be. That's what he's doing, taking a little extra time. He does not want to scratch. Right. He don't want to rub the ball and all that. That's going to be ideal, I think. That's fine. He's got to he, cut it to his left some, but that, that, that's okay. He played it to the middle diamond, which is the safe way to play. He's got to overcut this. I find it helps to use that like, low right English on this type of shot, too. Good shot. <laughs> Two to one, advantage Earl Strickland. Two to one, it's game number three. After three games, the scores are Strickland. Two, Mr. Ray is one. I've written a new book called Bet High and Kiss Low, and if bad language offends you, don't get it. And instructions for how to order this, this book are, will be at the end of this great tape. Thanks for your kind patronage and so forth. Well, if I had to pick an edge in the break department, I would give it to Earl Strickland, wouldn't you? I'd, I would definitely give it to Earl. Now, look at this uh, list of notables that Earl has defeated. Remlinger. Well, it's off the monitor, but he defeated quite a number of uh, terrific players. Well, he changed his break, though. Well, he's coming up. He came camping. out in the middle of the table to break the balls before he was breaking off the rail. Well, he's got a push here, uh, I think. There's no way to thin this ball. If he hits it thin enough to get it safe, the cue ball might hit the five. Well, hey, he could also bank it over around the six, too, and try to play all the way down. That's, that's risky. You can't push out to that because if you get it any easier than what it is, they can do that. Now, this is tough. I, I don't know what I would do with this. Well... If he could hit the left hand side of the one, he, he can, can play. Huh? He can. Well, he can play. Well, then why is he pushing out then? Now he can really hit the left hand side of the one. Earl, kill him on this. I mean, just drop him over there for the six. Well, it's a free Knock shot him. to put him by the six because the seven, two, and nine balls right. uh, will stop the one ball from right. going. He'll knock it right, over, right down there by them. Well, he got a snooker. He, he's lucky as he can be right there. He got very lucky there. Well, he made a good hit. Now, here's a place where I don't, I kind of like uh, Mass saying this. Either side of the one, he hits, he's got action. Well, he's going to go to the end rail because he's kind of tied the one up. I mean, the, the two up, rather. He got lucky. Well, I got lucky first. 
Oh, forgot about getting lucky. <laughs> well, they forget real quickly. <laughs> I don't remember the good roles. I just remember the bad ones. Right, right. Well, meanwhile, this is a tough safety here. There's nothing easy. Uh, there's a shot that I like here. I'll little illustrate it. I like banking the one, like up in here, and, and setting the cue ball over in here. And, and he should be behind the six if he hits at the right speed. And if not, he leaves it uh, pretty tough anyway. That's on. Boy, I don't know, Grady. I don't know how to shoot this shot. That's a, what that's, I meant. Yeah, that's a good shot. Okay. Yeah, that's what I meant. It, it looks pretty good, sir. Sure. Yeah. Well, he's just got a one rail kick here. I believe that's all he has. I'd rather go three rails, except that the three right. is uh, maybe a touch in the way. Right. <laughs> a touch. Maybe a touch. That's all you got to do is touch it. <laughs> well, that's... Well, he tried to go three rails. You know what I think he tried to do, Grady? I think he tried to hit it one rail. Okay. And it was high ball. And what happens if when it gets real dry in here, that ball lengthens out. But most of the time, it's not dry in here. You know, so that angle would have been true. You understand what I'm saying? Sure, sure. Now, uh, I, there's a number of ways to play this. He can go one rail into the nine ball, one rail into the two ball, two rails into the two ball. Well, I think. Or do this and play safe. Well, I think the nine was deader than George Washington at the side. He didn't even look at that. Well, I don't know what he did here. He can't even stop the, the cue ball and put it behind the nine. I don't think. Uh, I don't know why he didn't just set the cue ball straight in and play position with that combo. Well, maybe he can or he wouldn't have done this. Well, he's banking the ball. He's shooting to make it. <laughs> okay, that's a good shot. Huh? That's a good thing he didn't make it. He might have been Yeah, I think there. he hooked himself. Well, I, I like going two rails here, not one. I know one thing. Earl's going to pick up the pace or he's not going to win this match. I like this right here, buddy. Let's see if we can. One, two, and into it that way. I think it's an exactly. easier hit, better chance to win. So I, nice. hate, I hate having to go above the four and short. See, he went, actually went too short. Yeah. Now, Mr. Strickland has a cue on hand. No loss if I accept the nine. Mr. Ray is down two. Being on two won't matter. He's got a nice angle here. Well, this isn't my favorite angle for this kind of shot. Come out two rail, one, two, just like that, good shot. A low left English, you come back towards the seven ball. God, he's playing the whole pocket on everything. Earl Strickland is preparing to go ahead three games to one. And as aforementioned, the race to 13. <laughs> Ralph Souquet ended up in, in third place. Alex Pagalayan finished fourth. I finished last. Not quite last. I got the money. I hit the money, honey. Yeah. That's better than not getting in the money. Yes, it is. That's not even close. He's going to break out in the middle of the table again? Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't call it the middle of the table. But you mentioned hey, in one of the earlier broadcasts how much you uh, like this break he's using with the long ridge, and you thought you'd try it. Right, I am, but he's using a bridge now. He was going off. No, there he is. Off. Yeah, see how long it is? I am going to try that. Look at them ball scatter. He hit him. He hit him. <laughs> 
Well, I like to get on this two ball where he can cut it to his left and float the cue ball over for the three ball in the same pocket. Or he could plan to play the combination, but I don't think that that's the right shot. No, I don't either. He's right there. Yeah, right that's there. That's exactly. This is perfect. Everything just connect the dots here. All you got to do is get on the. Well, the five ball, you either have to play the combination or get a good angle on the four. Yeah, I believe I would play to get an angle on the four. Now, if the four goes in the side comfortably, he can just draw this back and towards the four ball, he'll have the right angle. It looks like it will. Just like this. Now yeah. he can come across one natural rail for perfect position on the five ball. Nice, nice. Now you go up one rail to the right side of the eight ball. Or two rails to the right side of the eight. Like this. And that's a good shot. Now you just gotta nudge that in the side and probably play the six, seven ball, excuse me, in the right hand corner pocket. Just like that. do about anything he wants to with his eight ball. I kind of like maybe playing position for the side pocket. Yeah. Good shot. And just like that, after these two very easy shots, it's going to be a three to two game with Earl Strickland in the lead. Mm-hmm. Four to one. Now four. No, it's three to two. Three to two. Right. Three to two. Maybe we can get some early AccuStat averages and see what these gentlemen are shooting. There's a nice shot of Earl's countenance. Earl ran four miles this morning. He runs four miles every morning. Plays when he plays golf. He walks. Guy's in good shape. Well. I think that's what it takes nowadays. You have to be mentally and physically prepared yep. to defeat so. these great modern-day champions. I think so. Oh, he kind of hit it with the easy break, and he's going to make a ball. Now, if he doesn't get straight in, he's got action here. But he it's got straightish. Right. Earl is at a 923 pace. Ray is nine, or excuse me, 792. And that's mostly because of a couple of bad kick shots. Now, buddy, this is rough here. He's really got to spin this. He's got to spin it a lot. I don't sure, I'm not sure I wouldn't go rail first with, uh, like, a just above well, center ball. Awful small pockets here. Okay. All right, but, well, yeah. maybe he can get beyond the eight here. We'll see. Oh, that's a pretty well, shot. He got a lot of juice on it. He still didn't get down far enough. No. But he got down far enough for real first. Yes, he did. I like hitting this fairly easy, too. I don't want to hit this too hard. The problem with this is if you get a shot at three, it's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long shot unless you draw it. Oh, what's he doing? Well, maybe he's got a curve to get far enough in there to, to go real first and make it. So you nice. got a, you got a shot, but it's a long one. Well, uh... He's got some choices here. Uh, he, he might be able to miss the five if he hits it easy, uh, but I'm not so sure I wouldn't just go to make this. Yeah. And, uh, hit it a pretty good clip, and uh, there's an excellent chance he'll have a good shot on the five ball. I believe he's going to sense the three. I don't think he's going to just he, do exactly. this to make the three. But I didn't think he was going to roll. That's a great shot. Great shot. I like the fact that the way he shot it, it's almost 100% make on a three ball. Mm -hmm. Dribbling that ball long distance in battle conditions is usually bad news. Yeah. Now one rail underneath the seven, like that. Nice shot. Now the rest of this rack, pretty much a foregone conclusion. I don't know why he did that. I could have gotten straight in. would have been a little easier. Can 
and he'd draw it over to about the third diamond on the lower left hand. Yeah, side I think rail. so. Straight across the table. Oh, he had a better angle. Yeah. Okay. Well, buddy, it's getting ever more interesting. It's going to be knotted up at three games each. These guys like to play hill hill matches anyway. Well, they're sure liable to do it here. What are you calling your tournament? The Superman Classic. Superman Classic, okay. There's a, an encampment that goes on there between on the days of the 6th through the 10th. And there are thousands of people show up. They make, they do a lot of crafts and stuff, and there are people who live out there in tents and everything. And thousands of people show up during those days. So I don't think we're going to have any problem with an audience. Oh, he's using the... I don't like that break. I don't either. Uh, that break is not worth a quarter. It's kind of like the deal about a good big man will beat a good little man, all other things being equal. I believe if you crack the balls a little harder than your opponent with accuracy, that good results will occur. Meanwhile, this doesn't go anywhere, does it? Does it go no, inside? straight in. Oh, okay. Well, he's in business, and he can just roll this straight forward. Good shot. Now a little inside English and, and lay the cue ball over right about the right-hand side pocket. This good shot. Now you can just stop the ball or draw it back a little bit. Shot. No problem here. You can just roll forward here. It don't take him long, does it? No, it sure doesn't. Oh, they had one match in this tournament lasted for three hours and uh Personally, I think we need to take steps to address that sort of situation. That's ridiculous. Three hours for yeah. uh, a race to 11, which it was. Uh, just draw it back, pass straight in on the seven like this. Hard to go wrong here. You just uh, go down to the end rail and back up a few inches. You better hoe. Wow. <laughs> Well, he just went a little farther than he meant to. Yeah, you got to hit it left-handed, I think, though. Good shot. And Earl Strickland goes ahead four games to three. He changed shirts when he played the semifinal match earlier. He had on a bright pink shirt. Yeah, he did. He's changing sides. Look at this, uh, buddy. He moved to the other side of the table. Yeah. Here's the Accustat. Current average is Earl at a torrid. 9.43. Ray is at a not-so-bad 8.49. He'd be yeah. over 900 were it not for the couple of inadvertently kicks. missed kick shots. And he doesn't usually miss kick shots. Right. Well, now well he, he almost missed the one. Yeah, he did. about the kick shots, but he almost missed the one. He did not make a solid contact there. He sure didn't. Yeah, well, I'd be happy to just still be at the table. Well, sure. Now, he's got an easy safety, or he could bank the one. Uh, but, you know, the safety, uh, Earl will play safe sometimes, and I think this would be well advised in this current situation, don't you? Yeah, I just stretch it out a little, let it drop it down below the eight, just stick right there. You don't have to take no chances with it. Like that. Yeah. That's even better because uh, he completely took away the short rail. Yeah. Now, this is one that I definitely like going three rails. A lot of, most three cushion players do, but I think he's going one. Okay. No, he went three. Good shot. Look at how clear he hit that. He oh, got to kick another one. Right. He's got to kick another one. 
He can see this, buddy. Yeah? Yeah, he can see at least the left side of it. You know, they call him the magician for that reason. I mean, uh, he does a lot of things of that nature. Yeah, I think he was just trying to hit that ball. Oh, sure, but his somehow accidentally go in a little more often than everybody else. Yeah. Well, I might shoot at this. He has room to go rail first. Yeah. I mean, he's probably not going to have position on a three ball, but I think this is worth the attempt. Or he could go lengthways. Uh, that's not a bad shot either. Better chance to get safe if he misses uh, in that fashion. That's a pretty good shot, right there. Well, that's a loss there. He's got a free bank. At least I believe it will be a loss. Mm -hmm. Can't he load this up with left English? And he doesn't even have to draw it to get the cue ball to go around the eight and over towards the left side of the three ball. This is an absolutely free shot if he doesn't have to elevate the cue. He doesn't have to do anything to it. All right, just hit it with a little left. Right. But he's got to make it. He well, left him a shot. He can hit it. Well, if he can hit it, I don't know if he can hit it or not. Yeah, he can hit it. Guarantee he can hit it. Well, it doesn't look like it from my vantage point. <laughs> well, I may be wrong, but I believe he can hit it. Okay. Well, I believe he would have already you shot. You have a better angle than I have. I think he would have already shot if he could hit it, don't you? Yeah. The monitor there looks like you're right. Look, the monitor over looks like he may be completely hooked. Well, here he goes. Well, he may be able to go rail first, gently. Oh, he was able to go. Well, you're right. He was uh, kicking at it. He was kicking at it. He was kicking at it. Well, he used a lot of right English, and he curved it a little bit from his left to his right. Meanwhile, he's in business here, buddy. But he was actually kicking at it. Well, I think he was, too. Now, whether we can get Earl after the match to admit that. I think uh, he said it right then. He was the most surprised person in the joint. <laughs> well, there's been a lot of times in our joint oh, careers man. where we have been the most surprised people at the place. Yeah, like I said, you can talk to yourself. You can even answer yourself. Just don't say, huh. Yeah. Now, two rails out of the far left-hand corner. Just like that. You hit a little too firm. you got to be careful with stuff like that, Earl. No, he's okay here. Well, when he hit it, he thought he hit it too hard. All right, five to three, Earl Strickland. See, so you catch up with Earl, and you think, well, now I've got him, I've got him going my way, and he runs two racks, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Well, he's uh, played the best nine ball uh, of all the players in the tournament, in my view, and I suspect he's well up in the 900s in the finals here. We'll, yeah. we'll know in a little while. Yeah, he is. He's right up there. He, uh, Efren missed that kick, so Earl got points for that. He didn't get anything taken away from him. When Earl made, I mean, Efren missed the bank. So then Earl ran out, so... I'd say he's, he's shooting probably around 960. Okay. Oh, that's awfully high. We'll see. Now he jumps the table. That'll take some away. That's just what Efren needed. He was 954 before the uh, knocking up before ball he jumped the table. the table. I just try to get, uh, I like to get straight in on this two ball. Being a right handed player, I mean, if I can. Exactly. Try to get straight in on exactly. Try yeah, to get straight I could in. just reach my arm over, over the table. The tree ball's on the far right hand side. Well, anyway, he's in business here. Low left English. He wants to come beyond the seven ball. Like this. Beautifully done. 
Now the four is by the side, you know, left hand side pocket. All he's got to do is draw this back. Got to watch out for the seven ball. I just come back two or three inches here. I wouldn't come back much. He's going to look and see right. is that comfortable to get on the five ball with, and I believe it is. Right. Now, this is worth taking a second look at. Last thing in the world you want to do is end up with a tough shot to get on the five. Yeah. deal if he gets straight in on five here. He took no chance of that occurring. So he, I didn't like his position like because he had hit that ball so thin. You know? Of course, you know, with the angle and everything, he's going to get out, but still. Uh, well, he could have made it easier, is your point. Right, a lot easier. Well, he's in pretty good shape here. One natural rail for the seven ball. He'll get an angle inside the eight. No, he decided to go the other way. Just as good. Low left English. He'll hit the rail before the left-hand side pocket. I'll let the left English slide him down towards the nine ball. Like See, this. I think that's risky, playing it the way he played it. Because he gets straight in on it. he gets a short pocket, short side. Yeah, yeah. You're right there. And if he pulls it back over like you were talking about with a two-rail angle, then it's automatic. Yeah. It's a natural then. Yeah, I agree with you. It was just sitting right there, but I still would maybe would have played the two rail angle. All right, five to four, Earl Strickland. Well, let's see if Efren. Uh, you know, I don't like his last two or three break attempts, buddy. Do you? No. He took like quite a bit of velocity soft. off. I don't like breaking that soft. He's moved the cue ball well back behind the hit screen. He don't want Earl checking the rack. He don't want Earl checking it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but never do. Here we go. Well, he hit him that's a little better. harder. That's better. Hit him a little harder, but that side over there is not worth quarter to break the balls from anyway. No, he has not made a ball. Earl tried it one time. He seen that right away. Well, I don't like giving it more than once or twice, boy. And, and boy, you're You're right about that. Now, uh, this is kind of important here. I like to come down far enough where I don't have any trouble. He was looking to see. So I think he can draw this two rails, miss the nine, and come underneath the six. He wants to use low left and come two rails, a short two rails, out of this lower right-hand corner. Uh, okay, well, he... Uh, Boy, that was that was a little risky, buddy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was a lot risky. Yeah. Uh, I'm surprised at what he did there. Uh, which side of the, was he following it, didn't he? Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, he'll probably get out here, but he uh, had to play a pinpoint position. Heck of a time to be looking at the six to see if it'd go, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know if he's got a full pocket or not. It well, must go. Well, he's sure got a good angle on this five. I mean, he could do other things if he had to. go below the eight here. I don't try to pull it above the eight. If I just punch it out one rail. Right, right. I don't know if he's got that much angle. Oh, yeah, I can do that. If you can do that, that's what you do. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, now he's back in perfect. Fine. And barring the unpredictable, he's going to go ahead six games to four. See, that's huge. Uh, if Efren breaks from the good side of the table and makes a ball and runs out, it's five each instead of him trailing by a couple of games. Exactly. Six, yeah, right. He's going back to the other side. Oh, look at this. Earl Strickland, 943. Ray is 864. I can't believe he's going back to that side of the table. Well, I'm surprised also. There must be a reason why he's doing that. Yeah. Well, the main reason is he forgot what happened last time he was over. Well. Oh, <laughs> well, wait a minute, though. He jumped the table on the other side, didn't he? Yeah. Well, he used a bit of a cut break. Yeah, but it's not worth a quarter. Oh, you're right. Well, he's pretty fortunate. Uh, Efren does not have a shot here. Now, uh, I'll show you what I like here, if he can do it, but I don't know if he can. If he can get around that enough. I like loading it up with right English, just knocking it out one rail and just trying to park the cue ball right there. Yeah, I think he can do that. I think he can do that. And he hits it easy, so the English takes quickly. Right, that's a good shot. You just feather this ball. Just bun it. Bump it out. Now, he can't go two rails, even though that's an easy hit, because the one ball figures to hit the five. Right. There's no way to get it safe. Exactly. Well, he can't roll out. I don't think he can roll out. Well, if I rolled out, I'd roll it. An inch or so to my left, or a half inch. Let Earl take it. If it was questionable whether you could get enough English. Well, I don't like this two rail kick. It takes a perfect hit to miss the five ball. Well, he he might it make in. it. He kicked it in and may have a shot. He may have a cut shot. Oh, that's awful lucky there. Well, you and I know he wasn't playing to make it. <laughs> he was awful lucky. Well, he was pretty fortunate that other time when the one ball went in long ways. I don't remember who won that game, but a lot more ways to sell out than making it the length of the table. Well, a lot of things he can do here. He can park him behind the five. He can thin it, cutting it to his right, which is what it looks like he's going to do, like this. Well, I'll show you the shot I like here. I don't know if Earl will do it. I like kind of a Massey rail first kick. I like Masseying it slightly around like this and coming off the side of it and the cue ball back down here. Hmm. I prefer the two rail kick. Okay. He's looking at it now. I think I prefer hitting here and here with English. Okay, well, he's really got to load it up with English to lengthen it out off that second yeah. rail. Yeah, it's a draw shot. Perfect. That's the way I like it. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot. Yeah, and a nice call on your part, too. He had to draw it in order to hit it full. Now, he's got some options here, buddy, too. He can come in here to the end rail and go two rails off the ball or one rail into it and how, what speed he hits it and how thick he hits the two ball determine what direction the cue ball goes. Right. I think he's trying to hit it full. He's trying to hit it full. Yeah, I like the, the full hit too and the, sometimes the cue ball will go through the object ball. Right. He'll try to know, he's going to try to hit, get the cue balls close to the seven, six, and the four as he can and it'll bank the two. If he hits it one rail, it'll bank the two up away from him. He'll hit it pretty firm. This shot right here, he'll hit it pretty full and pretty hard. No? Golly, that's not a rail. No rail. Yeah. Yes, it is. It is, but uh, if it go, if he hits two rails in the object ball, the cue ball travels out 
It travels a lot slower than if he hits the he ball hit going in. He hit a rail in? Yeah, he hit, he hit the ball going in. Yeah. Your ball wouldn't travel nearly that fast uh, if he hadn't. It's academic anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It really don't mean much there, does it? No. And, of course, it's a big game, too. And, uh, you know, you got to give Earl credit. He made uh, really good kicks. Uh, you called what he was going to do a, a beautiful job of predicting a terrific shot. Well, he may have to go on the other side of the seven or uh, up and down. You know, I shoot a shot here, Grady. That I've seen none of the other players draw and shoot. What do you do? I'd be interested to learn. Something. Okay, I draw this ball to here and back over oh, here. Oh yeah, I show people, I show guys that sometimes in an exhibition they don't realize you can do that. Yeah. yeah I yeah, draw it below the side and back above back, the yeah, side. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Yeah. And that shot's on. Yes, it is. Now he's playing it just. That's, that's okay. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. I would have probably, for that particular shot right then, I would have probably played the same way he did. But I'm just saying, a lot of times that shot comes up to where if you got to shoot it that way, you can. Well, in pretty short order, it's going to be seven games to four, Earl Strickland. Well, contrary to what we usually see, buddy, Earl is winning the safety battles here tonight. Oh, yeah. He, Earl knows how to play. He, he knows how to play. He's, I thought Everett made a bad choice on the kick then because he tried to come in behind it, I think. Uh, or try to bump it down the rail or something. I would have hit it firm and hit, tried to hit full into it and knock it one rail yeah. up table. And right, tried a lot of good things balls. could happen from, yeah. from that. I'll try to get it away from there. Try to control the cue ball mainly, just keep the cue ball right, you know what I mean, in a certain area. Sure. That's I like breaking from right over there now. Where he's, he's got that now? Yeah, he's got aim at the one, you know, he can't do it like he did last time he broke from there. Here's the new Accustat number, 951. Very, very good for Strickland, 867 for Reyes. Well, he was going to scratch then. He was headed right in the well. He was headed right into the well. Let's talk about this two ball, which is difficult. <laughs> it sits right here. He can't follow this. Now, if he draws it, I think he plays to get right out here. I think it might be makeable from there. I don't know that he can do any better than that. I don't see any way for him to get down here uh, to play the two ball in the lower right-hand corner, do you? No, I think he'd just play the cue ball over about the, just above the side pocket all the way over. Right, right. Wow. I wonder what's wrong with uh, that. Not that I didn't know he had that good an angle. Uh, yeah. That's a beautiful shot. Or that good a stroke. <laughs> uh, well, he's, he's in stroke. He's playing yeah. just, just remarkably well. Yeah. Well, I hate to say it, but this rack here is uh, soon destined to be a bit of pocket billiard history. It's an easy rack. All he's got to be careful of is, is uh, getting on the five ball where he doesn't have to contact the nine. Yeah. Well, this is fine. I think he can follow and stay to the left of the five ball. Just come back up in the middle of the table there somewhere. Like this. Good shot. And he checked to see where he'd like to be on the seventh ball. That's perfect. Cuts the seven to his left a little bit, which makes the cue ball go over on the other side of the nine ball and float gently down at the end rail. And it's eight games to four. Advantage Earl of Pearl.
Oh, looks like he's got some kind of weight or... Uh, Pat Fleming used to have some of those things, uh, and it, I believe that that's a weight, if I'm not mistaken. That green thing there? Yeah. It was a wrap. It just took off his cue. Oh, is that? Oh, that's yeah, right. it was it a wrap. wrap. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. It was a wrap. He just rolled it off of there. Maybe he's going to put another wrap on there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it was because the green didn't match his shirt. He may have the wrong cue right there. I like that break, whether he makes one or not. I like that break better than I did any of them I've seen so far. No, the one goes. Efren has a shot. Yep. No problem with the two ball, except you got to be careful that you don't want to have to hit the six when you make the two ball. I don't know that he can avoid that. I might consider if he has the right angle, if I see it right, to go two rails around the nine. That's if the three passes the nine. Yeah, I, th I think he can go two rails around it. Well, if he does that, he doesn't have to interfere with the six in any, mm -hmm. kind of, any fashion. What he might do here, he might have to be worried about getting behind the four. He might have to hit it like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come around two rails and back across it. I don't think he's got to hit it that hard. Well, let's see what he does here. I don't know. He's hitting it inside. That's what it looks like. Well, Why would he do that? Well, he must not have thought he could do the other shot. Yeah, evidently he it was a shot where he's going to run into it. Now, there's a shot where he can go three rails. I'll show you on the monitor if I see it right. Uh, I might be wrong. You make the three. One with writing. There's two, three, and back here for the four ball. Yeah, that looks... That, that works for me. Yeah. That works for me. He can't draw this ball. You can't interfere with the seven and eight down there. He hit it pretty easy. Well, that's fine. His, that's just as good the way he did it. Yeah. He did it the same way, only he played position for the corner. Right. Which is really the place to play that, really. Right. Okay. Yep, you're right. <laughs> he's, he's, he's kind of laughing. At yeah, I like that little giggle uh, expression that he gets. There he goes. Where's it going? Where's it going? I don't know. If he had to do that, he might as well have played it in the other pocket. Yeah. Well, he can't get cute. He, he cannot afford to not get out here. No. No, he can't. He's got to get out. <laughs> I can't stand it, that kind of stroke, man. Yeah. You know what that reminds me of? I'll tell you in just a second. Here. As our score is going to go to eight games to five. Maybe. He, he got straight in on that one. I don't think he's straight. Maybe I think he can follow it out of there. And at least get to around the area of the spot at the other end. Or right, he's drawing it, I guess. Anyway, Lou Butera and I once bet on Mike Euphemia, and he was a great straight pool player, and he won the match, but he dribbled every ball, and Lou told him, I'll never bet on you again. I can't stand it. I want to hear a ball go whoop when it hits the back of the pocket once in a while. You know, he rolled every ball. I played the straight pool tournament right here. Gibbs uh -huh. I actually won the tournament. I played Dallas West in the final, right? It was a combination tournament, straight pool and, uh, and nine ball. Well, during that tournament, uh, Lou says, Man, he says, I thought you said you didn't play straight pool. You play straight pool nice and you know, play your angles nice and you, you look the rack over good. You pick out, he says, You play the game fine. Then. Now I'm playing in the finals. He comes up to me and he says, Remember what I said about all that other stuff? I said, Yeah, he said, Forget all that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now, he just refuses to change sides. He ain't going to change sides until he runs out of money. Well, he may do that. He's lucky the one dribbled in. Yeah. Now, buddy, this is a tough shot here. I'll show you the way I see this. When he makes his two ball in here, he can't go forward much here. There's all kinds of stuff in the way. Uh, if he draws the ball and comes over here some kind of way, I might come over here and all the way back over here. He can play it two rails and try to go up between the six and eight. All right. Well, I thought it was tough. Yeah, he missed the, he missed the, the shot, but... He had a shot to get position. He had to go between the eight and the six. Now, does Earl have a half or a third of a pocket? Like a half a pocket, yeah. Well, if he does, he's close to the two ball, which right. makes accuracy right. not that difficult. Well, he's shaking his head. Well, I think Earl will play the combination if he doesn't have a, a respectable opening there. Grady, a little, I, I give my students and stuff when I teach. I said, man, I can't tell if that ball will go or not. I said, well, I'll tell you how you can tell if it will go. You use that ball just like it's the cue ball. You address it. You address it like it's the cue ball and see if you could shoot it in that pocket. Mm -hmm. If you can shoot it in that pocket, then it'll go. Right. Well, well, Efren may face the same dilemma. Well, yeah, yeah he's got more of a hole. He's got more of a pocket. Well, if he had it back, I think he'd like to take the combination. Maybe, yeah, you're right. Yeah, he definitely don't want to do that. My nose is cold. It's cold in here. Well, they usually keep it cold for mm -hmm. some reason. That's a good angle. And, well, maybe it's not a good angle. Uh, maybe he's got to cut it more than I think. Yeah. But he's okay here. He's an interesting player, Efren. He's always fascinated me. He gets a lot more cue ball movement than you think he needs. Now he'll come up one rail towards the five ball here, like that. Low left English this time. I don't think he'll dare to try to go around the five, I mean around the six. That's a good shot. Now left, left handed. Left in, pull it back out a little bit. Good. There was that follow. He was. He found it. Uh, he's messed around here. That nine is, is a huge thing here. You know? Yeah, he's able to make the nine on this shot or hit behind it and knock it over the side rail. I believe he can go inside the nine with a thin hit inside English like this. Yep, good shot. Well, he had a lot more adventure on that out <laughs> than what he wanted. Yeah. Now the score's 8 6. It's a close match again. He's struggling too, well, but he's getting out. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's a mark of a great player is when they struggle and get out. That's true. Eight to six. For any newcomers to AccuStat's averaging and statistics and percentages, a thousand is perfect cool. To shoot a thousand, you can never scratch. You have to run out every time you try to run out. In other words, you can make no position errors. You can't miss any kick shots. Uh, your opponent can't make any balls after you play safe. I mean, what are the mouse to? It's perfect cool. Well, you're right. I guess he's just going to stay over there. I'll live and die with it over there. Yeah. There's a nice shot of the cluster of balls. Now, that's different. He went ahead and hit it that time. Well, this he, is interesting because he's going to have to either play the four off of the seven ball. The or the seven combination. Or the combination. Or he can do it with the five ball, but I believe it's easier with the four ball. 
him just to do. Why won't he go get his other cue? He he's traded cues. He's changed cues. He's playing. He played this out with his break cue. I've done that. I've got a, a break cue that I like, and it plays similar to my playing cue. I've done that quite a few times. Well, that's the first time he's done it. He just hauled off and shot. Well, it looks like he's going to hit shot number three, this rack, with the break go. I don't know that it even matters. You remember when we used to all kid him because he had like a $7 cue? Yeah. When he came over here and he played with that thing for like five years. That one he's got there cost 12 $12? $12. The one that's leaning against his case over there. <laughs> it's a Filipino cue. Cost $12. Well, meanwhile, he's gotten out of line here. This, this is tough. He has to elevate the cue to keep from scratching if he plays it over there. Or, well, he's going to load it up with inside English and try to go to the end rail between the eight and nine, like this. Uh-oh. Well, he can't make anything here. There's nothing that goes. And I'm telling you, he's struggling through everywhere. Yes, he is. Uh, there's no shot here, buddy, except back in the five. Unless the combination is easier than I think it is. Well, I'd like to get a close-up. If that seven is frozen, Earl's got problems here. If it's frozen and out a little bit, which it looks like, I don't even think he can make a ball here. I said, can we get a close-up of those two balls and see what... Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that on the monitor. What a nice, crisp, clear shot. I don't believe he can make a ball. Now, if that's the case, I might play the nine ball yeah. with the cue ball. And maybe the seven will double kiss in or something. Well, uh, maybe, just maybe, you could play the the nine with the five. Just stick. Yeah, that's a possibility. That would certainly be creative. He's playing the nine. He hit it pretty good, too, I tell you. He hit it real good. Yes, he did. That was a good shot right there. You ever got a hand? Man, this thing here's sharp. Woo. Now be careful, don't, don't harm yourself. Buddy, this is as tough as it gets. Uh, <laughs> no, this shot, what do you do with this shot? He can't hit his right side of the five, I don't think. If I could, I'd be playing safe, or I'd try to make it. Yeah, you're old. You're trying to cut it in. He got enough room to try to cut it in. All right, if he can see the right side of it, I'd sure be shooting at it. If he can, see, if he can't, he can still try to cut it in over by the seven. If it's hitting it that thin, he'll be all right. If he could hit it that thin, he's shooting at this pocket over here. Well, I like it. You're shooting at it in the pocket by the nine ball. Yeah. Got to hit it real thin to shoot it in the other pocket. Yeah, it looks different on the monitors than it does. Well, that's a very thin there. cut. I believe the seven's frozen on the other lip of the pocket now. Yeah. That's that a nice shot. Great shot. That's a nice shot. That was a dandy right there. Well, he had to shoot. Had to shoot. Now he can... Uh, just low right English, just try to make this ball. Just like that, beautifully done. Now, you like drawing this back? Or? No, he'll follow it. Okay. He never draws this. But he hit real first on it. Well, he go around the nine here. Yeah. He's okay. <laughs> he hit real first. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's struggling. Yeah. He's well, struggling. right now, Earl is a little bit, too. Yeah. Or he can just go to the side rail, really, if he's got all around the nines of shot. Well, it's getting more interesting, buddy. It's going to go to eight games to seven. Yeah. There. If they're not careful, all the fake houses will be closed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Eight, seven. I bet he's shooting 900. Well, I'd like to get an update on the AccuStat scores. And we'll I find believe out. he's shooting 900 by now. 
Well, that'd be a big upgrade from the 700 in which he was stuck. Yeah, but he was shooting eight something. He was eight, eight, high 856 or 876 or something like that. Just a few, a no, it's 8, 848 or. Uh, I, I, believe, don't know. I believe he's shooting close to 900. Oh, now. you're probably right. See now he's making balls on the break like that now. Different ball game. You're making rocks. Well. You gotta hit it with a little velocity to get position on the two ball. He drew his ball. Well, Buddy, if I see this correctly, he can make this ball come down to the end rail here and, and back up about in here. That's what he wants to do if he can. If he can do that, that's exactly what he wants to do. I caught the three ball, but he's going to have a shot. Yeah, he's okay. He's all right. <laughs> Where do you draw this? Down to the end rail and back up. Or you try to risk hitting oh. five. He can't roll this. He's got tough shot here. You get well, boy. He's been playing. He'll draw it right into the five. Well, I think it hits the high side of the five. And you can elevate the cue slightly, which is another one of the Earl's uh, Strickland fortes. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's the high side of the five. Nice shot, Earl. Can do whatever he wants as regards to getting on the six. Uh, from this angle, I like playing it for the corner. There's a touch of left English. Back side. Oh, he's going to go for the side. That's just as good. Well, there he goes. There he goes. Nice shot. Nice shot. It's pretty much a shoot stop if I see the angle correctly. And here go two rails gently across the table. Oh, I thought he missed it. That's what I swear I thought he overcut it. All right, nine to seven. Here's our current score. Danny Just when you think you got things going your way, boom, he runs out. Boom, he runs out. Other side again. Still using that long bridge you alluded to earlier, buddy. Yeah. I don't. I think the other side is definitely the best breaking side. Well, like you firing the rack guys, he's going to let that side of the table go. He won't stay there and, and go down, mm -hmm. not making a ball on the break. Well, you got to shoot here. you got to back this cross corner. Yeah, don't you? sure you do. Sure you do. And he mm -hmm. needs to use low no. right ending. Now, if it's you know, very, very wet and all that, then you wouldn't. Then you wouldn't shoot that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the way I like to play, and if you try to miss the, the two ball. The only problem with this rack is the seven ball. Yeah. Mm 
Now, he just wants to use some right-hand English. He wants an angle on the four. does not want to be straight in. That'll do nicely. He wants to get where he can get almost just real close to straight in on the uh, on the five here because he wants to go forward just an inch or two. So he'll be a, have an angle to come down on the seven. Right. I believe I'd rather do it that way than to try to... And to try to play in the corner, you mean? Right. Yeah. Well, he's going to have to play... He's going to have to play the six on the other side now. It's harder to get the right angle. I would I would rather play for the three real angle here. I just play the five and play the cue ball straight across close to the three, the six. So when I shoot to six on the side, I come around three rails. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Well, I think he's going to play this for the corner, the six ball, I mean. Let's, let's see. No, he didn't. Well, he, that's the wrong angle on that ball. Well, I don't know if he got there or not. If he didn't get where he can cut it the, the, the right way, he's going to have to play this in the corner. It's the wrong angle. Yep. Well, he's going to have to play this in the corner uh, and go three rails or with low riding or play the, uh, the combination. I don't know what else he could do here. Draw his ball. Two rails out of the corner up there. <laughs> yeah, if he does well, you, you, as you mentioned, that's not an Efren. He doesn't like yeah, that. Right. He's going to play for the combo. Well, as getting on combos goes, that's not bad, but this is eminently missable. It sure is. I miss, I miss it about 80% of the time. Oh, these are hard shots, especially in the heat of battle. Nice shot, nice shot. Well, it's another great AccuStats match, uh, championship nine ball uh, at its highest level, and the score is going to be nine games to eight, Earl Strickland. shooting that it is I think this tournament's probably got a bright future uh, Barry Berman added 50,000. That's a uh, very notable and, and respectful first effort. Yeah. You go get a scuff now. Well, buddy, he made uh, made a ball on the break, but he snookered. Now, where do you roll out to here? Well, I don't know where, but I know you're very careful. Oh, he's rolling out to a hook. Well, I think you have to. I think you have to, man. I think he rolled out to half a hook. If he's hooked, he'd get to shoot again if it's me. Well, if I'm... I play this like a one-pocket shot if he tells me to shoot it. I'll show you here. I don't like this lie ball. You kick anyway. it hard. No, easy. Here, I, I put the one here and put the cue ball here, and, and I don't think he's going to be able to completely lock me up. And at least I'm still alive to do battle, maybe. I let him go just like that. Well, yeah, you got to let him take it, sure. Now he can go two rails and hit above the one. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do. Well, I believe he got him. I think he did. I don't know. He kind of took it. Earl might have to shoot his jump shot here. This is the type of thing for which Efren has become famous. He finds ways to get safe. 
when nobody else can very well. Maybe I can go. Earl might have a shot here. He may have a shot here. All right. Well, come down through here with a whole lot of spin. Just missing the five. And coming across and clipping the ball, bringing it back to here and bringing the cue ball back down table. Well, that, that might work. He'd have you to know, spin he, it a lot. But I think he can twirl this around the right edge of the two ball and, and go rail first and, and actually play to make this like this. Good shot. That's a good shot. Yes, it's a great shot. Now is the two go? I don't think so. Uh, of course, he's uh, looking at it. But he's got some ways to play safe if it doesn't. Oh, it went. Okay. Well, he got tough here. He's going to have to bank this cross corner. I don't think he wants to play safe here. I mean, he could play it cross side, too. But I like the cross corner shot. Yeah, I do too. I don't dislike the cross side. I don't dislike the cross side. I play this cross corner. I play the cue ball all the way down. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Sure. Come all the way down with it. That was a nice shot he made right there. I lead out if he makes it, but uh, he had to have good position on the six, too. Somebody would have had to play the combination. Somebody said something to him. Why? I don't know. Somebody said something to what, him. What, before or after the shot? After the shot. Yeah. Well, he's got some options here. He can twist it in. He can bank it back by the nine. Personally, I'm not sure I wouldn't just... Uh, do that. Good shot. Now this is a tough shot. Do you give yourself the extra chance to make the nine, or do you go three rails and try to get on the combination? Uh, Man, I don't know. Just however you feel, however it looks there. You don't do that. Oh, oh look at this, and he got. <laughs> He got position as yeah, about as good as you can get. Uh, oh man! Look at the countenance, uh, uh, expression on Earl's face. Well, I want to make a ball first hit here, not rail first. I wouldn't jack up on this. No, I like a level Q on it, too. Oh, man. Well, there's no way in the world he's drawing this, I don't think. I might be wrong. No, that's what I thought. I'm saying he's got every world hitting so far. All right, it's going to go to nine games apiece, buddy, and this is what we uh, all love to, to, to see and be a part of. Yeah, it's a game. It's a game. Well, you couldn't ask for any more than this. The first Masters. $20,000 first place, tied up nine apiece with two of the finest nine ball players in the world. And from my perspective, being in the booth with the rifleman, uh, nothing could be any better. 
He's starting to make balls on the break. Maybe he's going to have to play the nine here, I believe, buddy. It's hard not to get greedy here. Uh, you see the lay of the table? Very difficult to not want to play that nine ball. I want to play it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Nice shot. Beautiful shot. That's the first time Rose has been behind the whole tournament, isn't it? I believe it is. No, he was behind playing that hall boy. That uh, Tim Hall or whatever is that right? He was behind two to one and beat him ten in a row. Well, it's not going to bother him. Uh, he's got a champion at heart. I mean, if he gets an opportunity, he'll probably take advantage of it. Yeah. But you're right. The last two or three times, Efren has broken the balls from that odd side. He's done well. Yeah. He's come with a ball. He's come with a shot. Not this time. All right, Earl has a shot, and it's a good one. Especially if the three passes the six up in the far right hand corner. The uh, two ball, if you can't see it on, on the screen, is, is right here. The three ball is here. He's looking to see if it passes. Now, if it doesn't, it's a much tougher rack. Right. He's looking, uh, I don't know, looking at this like maybe it doesn't pass. Couldn't be more surprised. Well, well, he wasn't thinking about the one. Well, now here's a place where I like the, the Massey curl here. I'll show you what I mean, buddy. Especially with Efren doing it. He Massey it a little bit, a lot of writing. Just go to the end rail, thick hit here, knock this out of there, the cue ball like down in that range. Yeah, but he's playing two rows right, to well, hit it solid. He wants to hit it square. Okay. Well, he, he's going to get lucky is what he's going to do there. He got lucky is what he done. Well, he can go rail first and make this. Hitting before the side. players acting up a little bit. Somebody up there watching that monitor up there. It might be Gooey out. Uh, what's his name? Uh, might be Alex. Alex. Uh, well, I like this. You just go to make it. Looks like he's hitting a little on the thick side, though, to me. Yeah. And he might get lucky, too, but no, he's yeah. not. Now, um, this is a horse of a different color here. If the three does not pass the six, uh, you got to be careful. He gets an angle on the three ball. I mean, on the two ball to get on the, the, the three ball. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I believe it. It's close. Well, if it's close and, and he's got a half a pocket or something, he'd like to be close to it and straight in. We've all determined that that's probably the optimum angle for that sort of shot. Well, now that's just like downtown there. That's a beautiful shot. Now he can make the two ball in the corner and come across the top of the four ball if he has to and play the three ball in the far left-hand corner. He played position for the side. I think he meant to go a little farther down the table, don't you? Mm -hmm. He's been struggling the whole term of he's getting out. Well, he's in business now because this goes a natural three rails towards the four ball. He'll have to play position for the corner. 
This is below center ball, left angles. Like this, one, two, three. Now all he has to do is make the four ball and the rest of this rack is not too difficult. And this is perfect. He floats gently up about where he is now, maybe slightly more towards the six ball side. Now, I like position for the right-hand side pocket, don't you, buddy? Yep. And this is perfect. I like going down to the end rail and up uh, oh, a foot or two. Or he had an angle where he could just roll it, which is also fine. Our score is going to read 11 games to 9, Efren Reyes. Six nine oh five Reyes with a one thousandth of a point. Uh, Actually, <laughs> that advantage. And he's ahead by two games. Yes. Earl oh, got unlucky effort and missed that. Earl missed that one ball. I don't know what he was thinking about it, about where he was trying to get. I guess. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Watch out. Well, don't look good. It looks very bad for the Strickland camp. Yep. Now, you like going down to the end rail, I do here. Oh, yeah. And back up towards the three, yeah. a little right yeah, end. Yeah, right toward that, right toward the three. You don't really need to draw this, because maybe it Kind of just below center ball, like this. And even if he gets straight in, it's not terrible. He can draw back towards the four ball. Now he's shaking his head, he's scratching his head. He can't follow it. No. He absolutely cannot follow it. That's what he wanted to do. But he hit it pretty clean. Yeah, this is fine. I'd take a little bit longer shot in return for making this four ball every time, too. I'd just low right English over to the rail and out a few inches. Well. We just dead on the rail. That's tough. There ain't no bargain. No bargain. Well, he's going to have to float forward if he's straight in and play the six in the far left-hand corner. He may go right into the seven. Well, if he's know. got that kind of angle, he's got a small problem, doesn't he? I don't know. I can't tell, but he's, he's not taking much time. I think he can go straight ahead with this shot. Okay. If he had to hit the seven, he would have, he would have studied it some more. Oh. Well, now he has to make the six. All he has to do is make the six here. And the rack is over. He about missed a five. He jumped straight up. Well, I can't say anything. I've been doing that all my life. Oh, man, I'm a, I'm a pole vaulter. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, nice shot. Well, now he'll follow down to the end rail and back up. That's the way he likes to shoot these shots, if I'm not mistaken. Well, or two rails, either one is fine. Well, buddy, just like 
This is historic contest is drawing a little closer to a finish. As soon as he makes a nine ball, we're going to change the tape real quickly. We'll be right back. Well, buddy, Earl has to hope against uh, hope that he even gets to return to the table. You're right about that. It's not looking good. No. And you know he's played awfully well at that one inadvertently missed one ball. And, boy, mm -hmm. I don't know that he's even had a shot since yeah. then. I don't believe he has. He's got action to return to the table, except that he, that's not, he, he's not going to like his return to the table. I believe that Efren's going to do this. The cue ball, if I can get the telestrator, one, this side of the seven probably, right up in here, and play a safety. I don't think you'd have to hit that pretty full to do that. Or you can do it to thin way, too, but. That's well, pretty good there. That takes a lot of risk out of it. Yeah, he. Uh, yeah, that's right. That was a better safety now that I, I look at it. Well, now Earl has his opportunity. Uh, he's got to come with a great shot. He can't shorten it up around a three and eight. He's got to go the other way. And I like one rail here. It's the most critical part of the match for Earl Strickland. And a miss here is, is the end of the match. So one rail is the most accurate. Earl's talking about somebody up there at the other. He's got to hit this. Quit worrying about them up there and hit this. Yeah, that's right. Well, if he doesn't hit this, the match is over probably. Well, he'll play the two on the side. Float forward for the three ball. It's over. It's all over. Should be. Are we going to do an interview if it is in fact over? Yes, I I do have to go, but Buddy could conduct the interview. Uh, if, if we... Okay. All right. Well, Buddy, if an interview is necessary, uh, I'm going to have to leave you to do it. it that's assuming Efren gets out here. No positive getting out. Uh, but I can't tell you how much fun it, it, it is to work with you. I mean, it's a great honor. It's thrilling. I always learn something. Hmm. Now, he doesn't want to get straight in on the six. But even that might not be the end of the world. He could play the seven-nine combination. But he doesn't want to play a combination here. That's perfect. Just float over, shoot the seven-eight-nine in, and uh, we've got a new first Masters champion in just a moment. Where is it going? Where is it going? <laughs> well, he found a way to make it interesting. <laughs> well, he can go uh, three rails here, I think. Here's what I see. Mm -hmm. Just like a shot earlier in the match. Left English, one, two, three. That, that's one way. I wouldn't elevate the cue and draw this. Yeah. And I don't like rolling it. I like what he's doing here. I think he's shooting this shot the way I described it. Like this. No, he went. All Look right. at this. He just went blank. He just went blank. Well, if it, I think this goes in the side. It hits real tough in the side, though. This is, not a, this is not no hanger here. Oh, okay. it's over. Well, from all of us at AccuStat, uh, of course, we may do an interview. We'll, we'll put that on hold. I thank you, and uh, I wish everybody to keep up the good playing. Always a pleasure, Grady. My pleasure is all mine, buddy.